The Drexel Urban Health Collaborative was created at the Dornstadt School of Public Health just over five years ago to make cities healthier, more equitable, and environmentally sustainable. And we focus on our own city in Philadelphia, but also cities in the US and cities across the globe. We have three areas of emphasis. One is about research, about generating evidence, about describing, understanding, and evaluating. A second is about training, training all the way from undergraduate students, master's students, doctoral students, postdoctoral fellows, and junior faculty. And a third area is about policymaker and community engagement, partnering with communities and policymakers so that the evidence that we generate is meaningful and so that it can be used in the real world. One exciting global health project that we have at the Urban Health Collaborative is called Salurval, Salud Urbana en América Latina, which means urban health in Latin America. We focus on Latin America because it's a region with very high levels of urbanization where a very large proportion of the population, over 80%, lives in cities. And it's also a region where there's a lot of variation across the cities in terms of what they're like and the kinds of policies that they have implemented. So it really provides a lot of opportunities for us to learn about what makes some cities healthier or more equitable than others. Individuals who live in highly segregated, racially segregated neighborhoods have worse health outcomes, right? And this is here in the United States as well as in Brazil. And we know this to be true because these are the places that have been disinvested for decades, right? So these communities have um, lacked the resources necessary to live uh, healthy and optimal lives. And so you have things like limited access to healthy resources, such as um, healthy foods, um, places to go um, engage in physical activity. All of these social and structural determinants really cluster by residential segregation. And again, it's not by accident, but by design that these neighborhoods have been systematically disinvested for so many years. Our team at the Urban Health Collaborative has worked with the Philadelphia Department of Public Health to create the Close to Home Report. Often we consider health of an entire city. The Close to Home Report allows us to see differences within a city, to compare one neighborhood to another and rank them in terms of health outcomes and health predictors. This allows both the public and policymakers to see health in each neighborhood and make changes to create a healthier overall Philadelphia for everyone. The North Philadelphia Violence Prevention Project came out of a very strong partnership that the Urban Health Collaborative has and has been nurturing with Congreso de Latinos Unidos in North Philadelphia. They said they wanted to get their hands on information and maps showing violence disparities in their neighborhoods. So what we did was we uh, found and integrated various data sources on violence in the community and we mapped them. And then we put all of that into the website we built. That website is interactive and has the ability to be updated and it has downloadable maps and graphics showing violence disparities in the community as well as an interactive resource inventory by map uh, with an interactive map to allow folks to be able to understand and seek resources in the community around violence. The community violence profile of North Philadelphia uh, balances the need for violence prevention and addressing the disparity of violence in North Philadelphia with the assets that are already present in the community. So that way we're not just highlighting the issues in the community, but we're just building upon the assets that are available so that the community can continue to do the work that they do. Built environment research here at the Urban Health Collaborative uses geographic information systems tools, including both available data as well as data that we go into the field to collect. The virtual audit work that we're doing using Google Street View is at the intersection between those because we can collect data while we're in the office that's relevant to seeing and understanding the world around us. So the environment that people experience as they move through their day matters for what they're exposed to, and that could include harmful exposures like air pollution. It also matters for their behaviors, the opportunities that they have for healthy eating and physical activity. And finally, it matters for their stress levels, for whether they feel supported by the environment or like they have to be on their guard. The most exciting thing about the Drexel Urban Health Collaborative is how it really brings together people with different backgrounds and different disciplines to work together to make cities healthier and more equitable for everybody. The Gutter Fellowship is unique because it is 
aiming to bring on board individuals from communities that are underrepresented in health research. I think this is very important because health disparities and inequities in health outcomes is one of the biggest challenges we face in global health. And we cannot really understand it and address it unless we have people who are affected by those health conditions in those populations being in the forefront of doing the research to address those issues. So we are reaching out to those people, bringing them on board and supporting them to develop the skills they need and giving them the opportunities to be able to apply those skills in building independent research careers. I have been a trainee at the Urban Health Collaborative since its very inception. I decided to be part of it because I think it's important to uh, remark the disparities that are happening in cities where it's the place where most of the people is going to live in the future. One of the things I, I really enjoyed uh, of being a trainee at the Urban Health Collaborative is the collaborative environment. I think this helped me a lot to build up myself as a researcher because during uh, this time I was able to participate as a peer in research projects in the same way principals investigators did. Our hopes for the future are that we generate meaningful evidence and disseminate it so that it is actionable, that we train future urban health leaders, creative, innovative and energetic leaders, and that we really leverage the power of cities to create health and protect the environment for future generations.